Hello friends, welcome back to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. In this lecture, we will understand what are digital modulation techniques. Here we will discuss three kinds of digital modulation techniques known as ASK, PSK and FSK in short. These terms stand for Amplitude Shift Keying ASK, Phase Shift Keying PSK and Frequency Shift Keying FSK. So we will discuss all these three modulation techniques of digital modulation. So first of all, let's understand what is modulation. A modulation is a process by which some characteristic of a carrier wave is varied in accordance with a modulating also known as message or baseband signal. So what we do in modulation, we have a high frequency carrier wave and we change the either frequency, phase or amplitude of this carrier wave according to the variations, instantaneous variations of the message signal. So if the amplitude of the carrier wave is varied, then we will call it as amplitude modulation. If frequency or phase is varied of the carrier wave, then it would be known as frequency or phase modulation. So now it's time to understand what is digital modulation then. So digital modulation is a special kind of modulation where the message signal is of digital nature okay it may be binary or array encoded version okay and the carrier wave is of analog nature so you can understand here that uh, in analog kind of modulation uh, where its examples are am fm and pm uh, we have a sinusoidal carrier wave so in this digital modulation case also we have analog carrier wave but the difference between analog and digital modulation is based on the message signal that is the modulating signal in analog kind of modulation the message signal the modulating signal is of analog nature but in digital modulation this this modulating signal is of digital nature so we may either use the binary or MRA encoded version while transmitting in in MRA encoded version instead of transmitting one bit at a time we transmit two or more bits at a time okay so it reduces the bandwidth the carrier wave used in uh, digital modulation techniques is of analog and generally of uh, sinusoidal nature okay so what we do in ASK PSK and FSK actually in digital modulation switching this is known as the switching or keying of the amplitude frequency or phase of the carrier wave okay as per the message signal the ASK, PSK and FSK are analogous to AM, PM and FM respectively as I have already told you that the difference is that in digital modulation techniques the modulating signal is digital in nature while in analog modulation techniques like AM, FM and PM the modulating signal is of uh, analog nature okay so this is written here okay so now we will discuss ASK, FSK and PSK in detail separately okay so let's start so first of all we will see the amplitude shift keying ASK in short in ASK the amplitude of the carrier wave which is uh, of analog nature is changed or we say it is switched according to the digital input signal since we know that the modulating signal here is of digital nature therefore ASK is analogous to AM AM is a kind of analog modulation because in amplitude modulation also we changed the we vary the amplitude of the carrier wave according to the instantaneous value of the message signal so here also the difference is only of message signals nature where it is here it is digital in nature so here we switch the amplitude of the carrier wave according to the digital input signal let's understand it with this example very simple and interesting example so here this is 010001 this is digital input signal this is the digital input signal as i told you the message signal or the or the modulating signal is of digital nature so this is binary digital nature and this is the carrier wave we know that the carrier wave is sinusoidal that is analog in nature like the analog modulation so here also the modulating signal is digital and the carrier wave is analog 
Now we want to change the amplitude of this carrier wave according to this binary sequence, according to this digital binary signal. So what will we do here? In amplitude shift keying, we do not transmit any signal when it is 0. Okay, And when it is 1, then this carrier wave is transmitted. So as you can see here that at the places where it is 0, 0, 0 and 0 at 3 places, it is clear from this example that at these 3 places, 1, 2 and 3, where it is a 0 at these 3 places, no signal is transmitted, no carrier wave is transmitted, it is 0, okay, nothing is transmitted and at the places where it is 1, at this, this and this place, we transmit continuous carrier wave. So here and here we have two ones. So continuous wave, the continuous carrier wave, sinusoidal wave is transmitted. If we had uh, uh, three continuous ones here, then we will allow this carrier wave to, trans to be transmitted till these three ones. So it is very clear. So you can understand here that the amplitude of this carrier wave has been changed according to this digital input signal. Okay. Now we will see the frequency shift keying FSK. Okay. So here is the frequency shift keying. If the frequency of the sinusoidal carrier wave is varied or switched or keyed depending on the digital input signal then it is known as the frequency shift keying FSK. It is analogous to FM which is a type of analog frequency modulation. So since in frequency modulation which is of analog type we just uh, change the frequency of the carrier wave according to the instantaneous value of the modulating signal okay so in this case also only the difference is of modulating signal which is digital in nature so we change the frequency of the sinusoidal carrier wave or it is switched according to the digital input signal so this is an example so this is the concept how this uh, FSK takes place, the process of FSK. So this is 011001. This is the digital input signal. Okay. And this is the carrier wave, analog kind. This is digital. This is analog. And uh, here the we have shown the frequency shift key. So it is very easy to note here that see here when 0 is to be transmitted at these three places, 0 0 and 0 you can see the waveform okay it is having low frequency at these three places at this place this place and this place and when one is to be transmitted we have high frequency of this carrier wave okay so since it is a frequency shift keying therefore as per this digital input signal that is either 0 or 1 is transmitted we are changing the frequency of this carrier wave according to this digital input sequence. We reduce the frequency when 0 is transmitted and we increase the frequency when 1 is transmitted. Okay, We know what is frequency. Frequency is the number of cycles that are passed in one second. Okay, So it is higher when 1 is transmitted and lower at 0 is transmitted. Now let's see the phase shift keying PSK known as PSK in short. In phase shift keying the phase of the carrier wave which is analog is switched as per the input digital signal. This is analogous to PM that is phase modulation which is a kind of analog phase modulation. The concept is same as before in phase modulation analog phase modulation the phase of the carrier wave is varied according to the instantaneous value of the message signal modulating signal okay so in this case also since it is just a digital kind of uh, modulation the sequence the input signal is of digital nature and the carrier wave is varied or switched according to this input digital signal so let's understand the concept with the help of this uh, beautiful waveform so here we have this digital input signal 011001 and this is the carrier wave analog in nature digital in nature and now we want to perform the phase shift keying so how to do this 
since we will vary the phase of this carrier wave here according to this digital input signal so how to do it watch carefully so whenever there is a, a change in the input signal that is here it is changing from 0 to 1 and here there is no change and at this place there is a change from 1 to 0 and here it is no change and here it has changed from 0 to 1 so whenever there is a change from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 a phase shift of pi that is 180 degrees takes place in phase modulation in PSK so let's understand it how it takes place at since here it is 0 so there is no change in the wave and this carrier wave is transmitted okay and at this place it has been changed from 0 to 1 so phase shift has taken place here this place you can see here it's a uh, its shape was in this direction it is was it was going down but it has started from upwards and a phase shift this is a phase shift of pi okay so at this at this place there is no change from 1 to 1 so it, it there is no phase shift at this place okay since there is no change okay continuous uh, analog uh, carrier wave is uh, transmitted at this place but there is a phase change from 1 to 0 okay there is a phase change when it is uh, changed from 1 to 0 so you can see it here okay phase change has taken place of pi and uh, now there is no phase change from 0 to 0 okay so it is continuous at this place carrier wave is continuous continuously transmitted and at this place there is a phase shift okay so you can see this phase shift of pi here so this phase shift takes place only when there is a transition from there is a change from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 so keep this in mind if there is no change in the input uh, uh, signal it is not changing the bit then continuous sinusoidal carrier wave will be transmitted so this was all about digital modulation techniques ASK FSK and PSK hope you got the point if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section of this video hope you liked it in the next video we will see more concepts of modulation and other topics friends for more such videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it see you soon in the next video till then bye bye